Okay, hello everyone. So we are going to focus on second part of this chapter, which is equilibrium constant. The objective of this session will be a uh, focus on how to write the expression of Kc and calculate regarding the Kc. So what is equilibrium constant Kc? The equilibrium constant Kc is the molar ratio of the equilibrium concentration of products over reactants which each of the substance is raised to the power of their stoichiometric coefficients. From the equation given to you, where AA plus BB to CC and DD, uh, and how we are going to write the expression of Kc, where Kc is a molar ratio of the products of a reactants. And the product here is C and D, uh, while the reactant here is A and B. So Kc will be the concentration of C to the power of X, uh, psychometry number, times D to the power of D, uh, and divide by concentration of A to the power of A times concentration of B to the power of B. So the symbol C in this case C represents the concentration units for the substance involved in the chemical equation. And for some equilibrium reactions, the KC will have no units. But for other reactions, the KC may have units. So this is the range of equilibrium constant where we have three types which are small, intermediate and large. For the small, K value is lower than 10 to the power of negative 3 and the composition of the mixture is mostly in reactants. And for the intermediate, the K value is in between 10 to the power of negative 3 and 10 to the power of 3. And the composition of the mixture is significant amounts of reactants and product. And for the large magnitude of K, the value should be the greater than 10 to the power of 3. And the mixture contains mostly products. Alright, different uh, equilibrium reaction will give you different Kc units. So this is the example, one example, to determine the Kc unit. So you are given the equation here is 2SO2 plus oxygen uh, and the product here is 2SO3. And firstly, you have to write the expression of the Kc, where Kc is the molar ratio of the products of written. So the product here is SO3 and... SO2 and oxygen is the reactant. So Kc will be the concentration of the product to the power of 2. Divide by the reactant here is 2 SO2. So concentration of SO2 to the power of 2 times the concentration of O2 to the power of 1. And normally the a uh, concentration unit is small per liter. So I'm going to write uh, from this expression. So the concentration of SO3 will be more per liter squared because the stoichiometric number is 2 and divide by SO2 concentration more per liter to the power of 2 and the oxygen here is more per liter to the power of 1. So this one can be cancelled. So it will be 1 over more per liter. Uh, rearrange the <coughs> value here. So it will be liter per mole. So this is the unit of Kc. Alright, so this is another example that we can look for. So the question says that uh, we need to write the equilibrium expression for Kc for the following reactions. So there are three 
uh, equilibrium reaction. So I'm going to show you for A and B. Then for C, you are going to do it in your own. So for A, so we know that Kc is equal to the molar ratio of the products of a reactant and each of the substance is raised up to the power of diastoichiometric coefficient. So Kc, the product here is oxygen. So concentration of oxygen to the power of its stoichiometry number 3. Divide by the reactant here is ozone. So concentration of this ozone to the power of 2. Simple, right? And for B, similar to A, so Kc will be the concentration of the product and OCl to the power of 2. And divide by the reactant here is concentration of NO to the power of 2 times concentration of Cl2 to the power of 1. Alright, so this is another example or exercise that is good for you. Determine the Kc for the reaction and given to you the concentration of each of the substance. Alright, so the basic one, what you need to do is you need to write the expression of Kc. So Kc will be concentration of the product. So the product here is hydrogen to the power of 1 and iodine to the power of 1 and divide by the concentration of the reactant Hi to the power of 2. So insert the value. So for the hydrogen is 0 0.27 more per liter times iodine 0 0.60 more per liter. Divide by Hi 0.85 more per liter squared. So the value will be 0.224. And the unit will be, this one can be cancelled out. So it is unitless. Okay. So this is another exercise that you can do. Uh, given to you is uh, 2H2S and the product here is hydrogen and S2. Then you can write the expression. So H2 squared times S2 divide by the reactant H2S to the power of 2. And you are given, given the number of mole and the volume. You are not given uh, the value of the concentration, concentration, so you need to find it. So just uh, to remember, so for the concentration is equals to mole divided by the volume. So for the concentration of H2S, it will be 1.0 mole divided by 4 liter. Then you will get 0 0.25 more per liter for the hydrogen concentration is 4 mole divided by 4 liter, 1.0 mole per liter. And for the S2 gas, it will be 0 0.80 mole per 4 liter. Then you will get 0 0.2. Just insert the value and you will get 3.2 more per liter. So this is the value for the KC. Alright, so this is the variation in equilibrium constant. Because the equilibrium can be approached from either direction in a chemical reaction, the equilibrium expression depends on the form in which the chemical reaction is written. So either from AAB plus BB to CC plus DD or in reverse direction, 
CC plus DD to AA plus BP. For example, if we write the reaction in forward reaction, so the K forward will be the concentration of C to the power of C times concentration of D to the power of D divided by concentration of A to the power of B times concentration of B to the power of B. For the reverse uh, ration, we obtain the K reverse here is concentration of A to the power of A times concentration of B to the power of B divided by concentration of C to the power of C times concentration of D to the power of D. If we compare from this K forward with K reverse, K reverse is actually the inverse of the aspiration of for the K forward. So this is uh, represent for the relationship between K reverse and K forward where K reverse of a region is equal to 1 over K forward. And if all coefficients of the balance equation are multiplied by some factor, that factor becomes the exponent for the equilibrium constant. Meaning that if we go for the example, and this is the example. So given to you is the original equation, nitrogen plus 3H2, and the product here is 2NH3. And given to you the KC value, 2.4 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So the equation is, determine the KC value for three different uh, equation A, B, and C. Okay, so for A, the equation is 2NH3 and the product uh, here is nitrogen and 3H2O, H2, sorry. So if we compare A from the original equation, A equation is the reverse uh, equation from the original. So the new KC the new KC I uh, represent as KC prime, so will be the inverse of original KC. So it will be one over two point four times ten to the power of negative three. So you get here is four one six point six seven. Okay, for the second equation is one third nitrogen plus hydrogen and the product here is two third of ammonia. So this one is still in forward equation but uh, it is multiplied by one third. So the new Kc will be Kc to the power of x factor number so the factor number is here uh, here is one third so kc to the power of one third then you will get 0 0.13 and for the last one in uh, ammonia to half of nitrogen plus uh, three uh, three half of hydrogen so this is in reverse direction. So it will be the new KC will be 1 over KC. And if we look for the stoichiometric coefficient, NH3 here is 1 but the original is 2 and the others also different. And this one, we multiply it by 2 to 1. So, we multiply it half. So, the new Kc, Kc prime will be 1 over Kc to the power of half. Okay. Then, we insert the value. So, it will be 1 over 2.4 times 10 to the power of negative 3. To the power of half and you will get 20.41.
Okay. All right. That's all from me for this session. And thank you for your time.